What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today's Fan Friday, and today's winner was Mega Manetric Victory Bell Dragalgy. Yep, that's a deck, and we're playing it today. I'm really excited. I've never even thought about this deck until somebody suggested it, so we'll go over the deck real quick. Now, Mega Manetric has 210 HP, and it has attack Turbo Bolt. It does 110, and you attach two basic energy cards to frame your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And you can either attach this to another Mega Manetric, kind of swap between them, or you can attach them to Victory Bell, or maybe a Bell Sprout or Weeping Bell, depending on where they're at in their life in their life cycle right now. Uh, but Victory Bell has Wafting Scent, Wafting Scent. I think it's a Wafting Scent. Um, you may dis once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a Grass Energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. So now, when you discard a grass Pokemon, they're not only poisoned, they are confused. So now they have to flip a coin to even attack next turn, which is a pretty cool combo there. So when you Turbo Bolt, you do 110 with Poison, 120, coming back to you, 130, plus another 110. That's 240, which knocks out the majority of stuff. Uh, just not a Waylord. It's, it's not a Waylord. <laughs> so that's what we're going to try to do here. Now we play two Shaman here for the setup. Uh, just to draw cards, we have six cards in our hand. Uh, we do play a 2-2-2 two, two, two Weeping Bell. We only need one Weeping Bell. You don't need two. Uh, you could play get two down, but there's not really a use for it. And they Lysander kill it. Uh, who who really cares? Uh, it's a non. It's only a one uh, a non ex. So who, who really cares about that? And we play the one one Dragalgy line in here. Now Dragalgy says your opponent's poison Pokemon can't retreat. So now when they're poisoned, the only way they can retreat is if they play a Switch, Escape Rope, AZ, Cassius, Pokemon Center Lady, and then re retreat. Um, maybe there's something else. Or a Keldeal Floatstone rush in. And uh, we'll talk about how we deal with that. You could just license the Keldeal and then Poison Lock it with the Dragalgy, which is pretty cool there. And that's all the Pokemon we play. Like I said, our main attacker, my hair is being annoying, is a uh, Manetric EX. They're just going to Terror Bolt stuff. Why? It's a little crazy. All right, let's, let's fix that. There we go. Sorry about that. Hair problems, you know. But, um, yeah, that's our attacker, Mega Manetric, and then we're going to um, Toro Bolt to Victory Bell, which is pretty cool there. So we're going to play one Battle Compressor, search deck for up to three cards, and discard them. Now, this could be used to discard some Grass Energies, maybe some Supporters, maybe some Pokemon you don't need anymore. Maybe you already have a Victory Bell. You don't need a Bell Spire Weeping Bell anymore, so you can just discard them if you want to. One Computer Search just for consistency. One Sacred Ash. Uh, the originalist had two. I cut one out. Um, I think you only need one uh, just to get back to maybe a Victory Bell line or maybe the Dragology if you accidentally discard it. Uh, maybe two if you if you think you if you think that you might accidentally discard more than what you need. Uh, two Switch and this is just in case to bring up Victory Bell or maybe the Dragology. They do. They both have a retreat cost and same with Shaman. Uh, the Victory Bell has a two retreat cost, which is, hurts a little bit more. Uh, but the Manetric has a free retreat cost and the regular Manetric has a one retreat cost uh it's four ultra ball just to get pokemon out four vs seeker three supporters and now we're going to talk about uh we play what five different supporters here so one az pick up a pokemon put it back into your hand and this is just in case you need to pick up a shaman maybe they uh maybe you need the bench space you need to get rid of shaman maybe there's a hurt manetric you can pick it up uh, put it back into your hand but you do have to discard uh, all cards attached to it so that's the only thing you have to watch out for uh but the only the thing about Manetric, though, if you pick it up and discard the energies and heal it, uh, you can just put it back down and Turbo Bolt back the, the energies back mm -hmm. onto Manetric. I mean, and the it overruns 2020, Assault Laser 60, have a total 120. Could be fairly strong there. Uh, two Colrus, two Lysander, three in for Juniper. Two Rough Seas heal 30 damage from each of your Water or Lightning Pokemon. And like I said, the Mega Manetric has free retreat costs, so you can kind of cycle between them. Heal 30 from each, which is pretty cool there. Two Silent Lab, each basic Pokemon to play in each player's hand and each player's Discord pile has no abilities. So that way, Keldeo can't rush in a retreat and kind of get rid of it. And once you get the Silent Lab down, they can't really rush in a retreat. But the cool thing you might, might want to do is Life Center for Keldeo. That's why we play two of them and uh, get a lock with the Dragalgy when you can. Three minutes experience so you don't end your turn. And five grass, six water. And that's the deck. Um, I mean, overall, Mega Manetric is a strong card by itself. It destroys a lot of decks. But the Victory Bell just makes it a little bit more cuter uh, just because they're confused and poisoned. But hopefully enjoy the deck and let's see it in action. All right, so we're playing against Yoko Pasipe, playing a colorless fighting psychic deck. Hopefully this isn't Landy Bats because that's kind of a rough matchup for us. 
Oh, we start Shay Bay. Come on now, don't do this to us. So let's see. Oh, Groudon. Even worse. All right. So we get Battle Compressor. We can uh, discard a uh, Grass Energy. Grass Energy. And maybe a Lysander. Because I don't think it's going to be that useful in this matchup. Um, we could put the Silent Lab down, maybe. But we'll just Juniper here. All right. So we can Ultra Ball discard the Silent Lab and the Lightning Energy. Here we will get a Manetric. And I did want I uh, I want to keep everything else in my hand. Everything else seems pretty good. So shame in here. Draw. We have six cards. We get a lightning energy. We can computer search this card, Manetric, in the end to get a bell sprout. Now we're actually weak to fighting, so I don't know how good this match is going to be. It will just end our turn here. My opponent is probably really confused. Like, what? There's a bell sprout in here. What am I? Oh, he probably doesn't have no idea. So we see a hard charm going down to Groudon. We see a Karina. See a primal Groudon come out. Um. Now next turn we gotta hit the other switch and a lightning energy and maybe a weeping bell and we can start um, going places there. We see a fighting energy, a fighting energy coming down. And we see a pass. Alright, so our turn, we get the Manetric here. Uh, we could play the end, try to get rid of the Primal Groudon and save the Juniper. I actually like that play, so we'll get rid of his Primal Groudon and we'll play the end. Alright, we get the Weeping Bell. We get Ultra Ball, discard the Bellsprout and Colrus. Um, we can get the Dragalge, I guess. Yeah, it seems fine. Put the Dragalge down, attach a Lightning Energy here, and we will end our turn. Alright, so let's see, what does my opponent have now? Maybe we helped him down, there's a Wild Effect, there's a Toad, I mean not a Toad, a Robo Sub, we see a Karina, this will get a Primal Groudon most likely. Oh, a Landorus, oh, that's just as good too. Let's see here. Uh, Landers can do some damage to us, unfortunately, which kind of stinks. So we see a switch. Imagine we'll see a Landers switch energy. There's a switch. Oh, it's straight to Wobbuffet, Fed, okay. Now that's fine with us. Um, I'm actually okay with that play. We'll verse Seeker here. We'll get a Juniper. Um, now we just got to hope he doesn't have an energy and in some way to power it up on the bench. So like a, uh, oh, not an end, a Juniper. Um, so like a Mega Turbo, so we'll play the Juniper here. Um, we get the Victory Bell, we can switch. Um, we don't get, um, a Manetric out, which is, uh, pretty bad. We can put a Lightning Energy onto the Shaman, maybe. So maybe we can attack with it. Or we can actually attack with Victory Bell if we want to. Oh, that seems like a good play here. We'll attach a Grass Energy here, and we'll Turbo Bolt for the Knockout, and put two Grass Energies onto this Victory Bell on the bench. Okay, so we'll take two prizes here. Oh, one prize. Sorry. I'm just like, oh, why if it's dead? We'll take two prizes. All right, but like I said, with Victory Bell, we can actually... Groudon's weak to grass, so we can hit it for 120 and try to poison it. We see a Focus Sash coming down and a Juniper. Okay. We see a Silent Lab coming down, shutting down our abilities. It doesn't matter anymore. We already have the Shamans out in play. <clears throat> and we we'll see a Pass, my opponent. Alright, so here, I think I'm going to Sacred Ash this turn. We'll get back the Manetric and the Bell Sprouts. Um, and we'll play the Inn. Yep, we'll play the Inn here. Okay, we we whiff, uh, and we whiff the Manetric again. So here we'll just Turbo Bolt. We'll see the Primal Grata come to active spot here. And we have to attach two Lightning Energies to something. So we'll attach it to a Shea Bay. Alright, so here comes Big Bad Primal Groudon. Um, it's going to smack us for a lot of damage, discard the stadium card, but we're going to try to confuse it. Um, that's our best plan here. Confuse the Groudon, and hopefully it hits Tels. It's probably not that great of a play, but we're going to try it today. Um, that's the only plan I have right now. Here we see a Verseeker. Oh, thank goodness. I thought he was going to get a Lysander. And, uh, well, go away. Everything's happening too much. We see another Groudon coming out. Has he played an A-Spec yet? He hasn't. Ooh. What's his A spec? Is it a computer search or a scramble switch? Another robo sub coming down. Okay, see Groudon coming down, robo sub. And we'll see a God of Ocarina for 400 damage. Bye bye, Manetric. Nice knowing you, kid. All right, we'll send a victory bell here. And at this point, my, probably has, my opponent probably has no idea what's going on. We'll put the Manetric down, link it, verse seeker, and we'll grab an N here. Okay, we'll end my opponent. We get the bell sprouts, and, uh,. We can attach energy here. We can use the 
wafting scent. And here will spiral drain for 100. And now he's confused. All right. <laughs> All right. So we see a shiny members coming out. Um, now he has to actually flip for this uh, confusion. We see a strong energy going to Landorus. And oh, it's Tails! Oh, take that grout on. All right. So our turn here. Um, okay. If we Juniper, we get. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. There's one lightning energy left. I will play the Juniper here. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right, we get the lightning energy, we get the Manetric, we get the Dragalgy, and here we can, um, we can just, we can actually Vine Whip, uh, we can, no, we'll just Split Poison? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison? Uh, yeah, that seems good. Uh, oh no, what? I thought it did 40. What? Why did why did it only hit for forty? It should have hit for weakness, right? Why didn't it hit for weakness? That's so weird. Oh, uh, what happened there? I'm not did he? Oh, because the heart charm. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, uh, that's fine though. Okay, I messed up there. I that's all fault on me. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I forgot about the heart charm. Hmm. All right. So what's going to happen here? <sighs> okay, that was a misplay on my part. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we see a switch here, bring it up Wob Fett, attach a energy there, and we see a primal evolve. Okay, so here we'll verse seeker. We we'll actually grab a Lysander. Uh, we'll Lysander up this Landers, attach a grass energy. We will, what is it? Wafting scent. And here we will, uh, not split poison, spiral drain. Okay. Man, I am so silly. I don't know why I did that um, play. Um, but we have one, two, three. We have three Verse Seekers down. We see a Hard Charm going down the Groudon. We see a Light Center bringing up the Bell Sprout. And my opponent tried to attack me and he's confused. All right. So here we'll just end our turn. We have. Oh, we should have AZ'd. Oh, no. I keep making misplays. All right. That's fine, though. We see another Energy going down the Groudon here. And we see another Confusion Tails. All right. Oh, I'm tempted. Uh, we'll easy up the Bell Sprout, send up Shebe, and uh, here we will Sky Return, knocking out the Landorus. Take two prizes. Oh, we need this card to be an end so bad. Um, we'll send in the Shaman. Okay. Oh, we have N in our hand now. Okay, sweet. All right, see the Robo Sub come to the active spot here. And let's see what my opponent does. I see Robo Sub getting knocked out. Here comes Big Bad Groudon. And are we going to see a knockout here? And if he does, we'll set up Victory Bell. And, uh. Yes, okay, sweet. So, if Victory Bell. I mean, the Shaman goes down. We'll set up the Victory Bell. And here we'll play the Bell Sprout. Attach an energy here. And we'll play the N. That's fine. Okay, and here we'll just, uh, we'll attach it, we'll put the rough seas down, and here we'll spower drain for the knockout, and uh, taking a prize card, taking two prize cards. Alright, so uh, even though I made a couple misplays, we're slowly coming back into the game here. Alright, we see a computer search. Uh, what will my opponent get here? Probably a Juniper. Yep, there's a Juniper for my opponent. We see a Mega Turbo putting energy on this Primal Groudon. Let's see, another energy. So we're going to see the Victory Bell go down. Now, if we top deck a Lysander, we can knock out the Victory Bell here. I mean, the, the Wobbuffet to take our last prize. Can we do it with all these misplays? That is the question on everybody's mind. We'll sit in the Mega Manetric. What do we top deck here? No. No, we. Oh, no. It's in the deck. Oh, wait, we still can do it. Okay, we'll get the Shaman. Oh, we got it! We'll put a lightning energy. Shaman. Yes. I think Lysander's in here. Lysander the Wob Fan and Turbo Bolt for the knockout. We beat it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We beat the Groudon deck. Oh, with all the misplays. Oh, we still won. <laughs> oh man. That was amazing. Oh, I had so many misplays that game. I'm sorry. I misplayed the, the mess out of that game. But that was that was so much fun. I oh my goodness, that was crazy. 
All right, we'll play another game, and hopefully this time I won't I won't make so many misplays. That was my first time ever playing the deck, and the first time was pretty nice. I will say so myself. But yeah, we'll see another game with this deck, and hopefully I'll I'll play it better. All right, so we're playing against El Panda ninety five here, playing a Fighting Colors Water deck. So let's see what happens here. Uh, heads, do we get to go first? Ah, boo! He gets to go first there. I'm supposed to call heads. All right, so we have a, min, a min, oh we have a we have a really good start actually. Um, it all depends on what he's playing here. We will put down the both the bell sprout and the scrap, and a toad. Dun dun dun. So a seismic toad start. Okay. Now the good thing is he can't quake a punch turn one. Uh, we see a laser coming down heads night night metric D C E N. Okay, we still have a good good hand. Uh, so if he puts down a verbank. We can counter it with the rough seas, but if he doesn't, I think I'll just uh, just hold on to the rough seas. That way we can heal later. So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Karina and an Ultra Ball. Let's see what he gets here. A Landorus. So is he playing some kind of Seism Toad Landorus deck? And here we see a pass from our opponent. And we wake up here. Very nice. Alright, so our turn. We get the Manetric. We get the Link. And he only has two cards in his hand. Hmm. He ultra bought away a Karina, so that makes me think he already has a supporter in his hand. Because why would he not hold on to the Karina if that was his only supporter? If that makes sense at all. So I'm actually going to end here. Okay, we get a lightning energy. We can... Uh, Shaman? Yeah, we're Shaman here. Try to conserve some cards. Uh, we can discard an old course and a... Switch? Here we'll get another Bell Sprout. Okay. The other weeping bells in here. And we, okay, so we have two weeping bells in here. That's very nice. Put the weeping bell or the bell sprite down. And here we'll just overrun twenty and or zero and twenty. I forgot the hard charm. My fault. My fault. Hard charm. All right, but next turn we have a good. We have a really good hand. Uh, we can coerce for six. Hopefully, draw to mega magnetic and energy. Start hitting the toad. Um, it all depends what L Panda is playing here. Here we see Karina. So let's see what fighting Pokemon he gets. A Hippopotas. Okay, so we're playing against a Hippopotas deck. Um, which makes it where an EX Pokemon can't hurt it. But we do have the Weeping Bell, which can hurt the Hippopotas. So that's good for us. Uh, we see a Muscle Band coming down. So I imagine the Muscle Band will go down to the Hippopotas here. Another Landorus coming down. Here we see a Muscle Band actually going down to the Landorus. A Strong Energy on the Hippopotas. Verbank. And a Quicken Punch for, what, 40 total? Or for 60 total, sorry about that. All right, so our turn here, we'll course for, what, eight? All right, we'll be we whiff. All right, put the Weeping Bell down here. We'll, s oh, we can't switch either. That's pretty bad. Um, okay, so if we punch it, we'll knock it, we'll get knocked out in the next turn. So actually retreat, uh, put the energy here, and we'll just overrun. Zero and I guess twenty to the hippopotas. Ugh. Cause if he okay. If he I don't know. Maybe the twenty should have the landers. That's such a weird thing. Here we see another laser coming down from my opponent. Tells we're not asleep. And we see just a quake of punch here for thirty. So it seems like my opponent doesn't have anything. Um so now we can make the decision. Do we bring up the hippopotas and smack it for sixty? Seems like a a risky play, Cotton. We'll do it. Uh, put an energy here. Or put on the bench guy. We'll put on the bench guy. So we have two Manetrics ready to go. Here we're overrun for 20 and 20 to the Landorus. Okay. Now, question is, does he have a supporter card now? Um, it seems like he's dead drawing. He didn't play a supporter last turn. He didn't really do anything except pass. Um, Hippopotas has a three energy retreat. Here we see Zerostic. Getting rid of our tool. That's fine with us. We can attach the tool to the active. Here we see a switch. Oh, he had the switch in hand. It was he a quake a punch there. All right. So, oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, bleh. we'll have the juniper here. All right, we get the rough seas, so we can start healing some damage off. Uh, we'll retreat to this manetric, and I'm actually going to attach a lightning energy and just uh, mega evolve. Seems like a good enough play. And the next turn, we can start healing some more damage off. He only played the Zerosic last turn. Another laser and an end for my opponents. Okay. 
Um, we get the Dragalge. We see a Hard Charm coming down. Now, if he doesn't um, evolve this Hippo, Hippata, Hippopotas, we're going to knock it out. We're going to take our chance, knock out the Hippopotas while we can. I think that's the correct play. Ow, I just popped my knuckle. All right. So, our turn. We'll put down the Dragalge. We will license up this hip Hippopotas. And, yeah, we'll just Turbo Bolt here. Yep, Turbo Bolt. Knocking them out. And put two Lightning Energies on the other Manetric. Okay. Taking our first prize card. All right, so here comes Big Bad Size of Toes. Gonna do some more Quake Punch here. Um, what we need to do is we need to start powering up the Weeping Bell, so that way we can use its ability. Um, we just have three Spirit Links discarded, which is pretty bad. Okay, so here we see an end for my opponent. Oh, we time to go Grass Energy. Okay, Hip Pad on a Hip Toss, Hip Toss, Strong Energy, and we see a Quake Punch here. So we're surviving here barely. Just barely. Okay. So we can attach a grass and induce his weeping bell. And I think I'm just going to Juniper here. Okay, we get the victory bell down. We get a weeping bell down. Uh, we'll actually just retreat to this Manetric here. We'll use its wafting scent. And here we'll just assault laser for 100. And it's poisoned now. Okay. So let's see. What does my... Oh, I probably should have computer search for a... Uh, a rough seas and start healing our Pokemon off. But that's fine. Mistakes happen. Uh, here we see a computer search, discarding a Sycamore and a Shaman. Hopefully he doesn't have another switch. If he doesn't, we're in good shape. Um, <laughs> now if he tries to punch us here and he stays asleep, we have a lot of options actually. Um, the main one is we'll probably just retreat to the mech. Oh, Pokemon Center Lady. No. Okay. And we see a Quake Punch here. Okay. So our turn. We'll attach a Grass Energy here. Um, hmm. Okay. We can actually AZ the active and save it for being knocked out. So let's do that. Let's AZ the active. Put the other one here. Put down Manetric. And here we'll actually... Um, do we knock it out? No, not yet. So we'll have to sit once again. Um, making it confused and poisoned. And where do we put the, the energies? I think we'll put the energies back onto the victory bell. So that way we can get ready to attack the hip hip toss when it comes to taxes here. So here's a turbo bolt here. Uh, do a 110. And like I said, we'll put the energies onto this victory bell. Just wait for mana to kick down. Because we have, yeah, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. There we go, 90. And here's a grass and a lightning. Oh no, we probably got two grass. That was misplay on my fart. All right, now does he have another Pokemon Center Lady? Is the big question here. You ever see a Sycamore? Uh, so he needs an escape rope. And if he doesn't have that, um, he has to Quake a Punch. And if he flips tails, he knocks himself out. So he's in a weird situation right now. Now, once this gets knocked out, we take two prizes. We can knock out a Hippopotas and try to knock out a Landers to win the game. So, let's see what happens here. He has taken a second, but that's fine. Uh, it's probably a, a hard decision on his part. Do I Quake a Punch or not? Do I, do I risk kill, like knocking myself out or not? It's the big question here. <clears throat> and, uh, the confusion went through. Okay. So he punches us here for 30. Okay, we get another victory bell. Ooh, that's spicy. I like that. All right. He says, wow, I got it. All right. So I'm actually just going to retreat here to this Manetric, and we'll just Mega Evolve. Okay. That seems like a good play here. If he doesn't have a way to switch, um, the, the size of no gets knocked out, come back to our turn. We can punch body. He can't retreat because of Dragology because he is poisoned unless he has another Cinder Lady. So that's the question. Does he have another Cinder Lady? He hasn't played a single VS Seeker yet. So he takes the energy back. Maybe he's like, ah, I can't retreat because of Dragology. Okay. <laughs> we see the energy go down to the Landorus here. All right, so is he uh, Quake a Punch? Does he hit himself or not? It's the big question here. I mean, uh, the the big the, the reason why it's such a big deal. Oh no, Lysander! Victory Bell, no. 
Okay, sweet. So the confusion uh, works for us. All right, how many Switch have we played? One. Oh, both their Switches are gone. No. Okay. Hmm. What do we do here? We get Computer Search, this card, Ultra Ball, and Ultra Ball. Now we have a two retreat cost, so it's going to take us a second to retreat. Uh, we have one energy, two energies. I'm actually going to have to get a supporter. But I got to make sure I don't deck out either. How many Earth Seekers are in here? There's one, two. So we'll grab a Juniper. That seems like a fine play. We'll play the Juniper here and have three cards left in our deck. I'll put the Rough Seas down and start healing Pokemon. We'll attach a Grass Energy here. And we we'll actually just end our turn. Okay. So we're slowly healing this Manetric on the bench. Uh, the Manetric, the lander still scares me here. But if he um, leaves the Hippopotas in the active spot, we can attach energy, retreat, send up the Mene Mega Manetric, and attack this Hippop Hippopotas for a knockout. A lot of Hippopotas going on here. This game is close. We have three cards left in our deck too, which is pretty scary here. Um, but everybody should have a way to retreat now. So that's a good thing. And a pass for my opponent. So here we'll rough seize once again. Uh, we'll attach a lightning energy here. And uh, we'll retreat to the Mega Manetric. And here, um, hmm. Oh, okay, what do we do here? We can, okay, I know what we're going to do here. We're going to Turbo Bolt. Do it 110. Put a Grass and a Lightning on this Victory Bell. Taking a prize card here. And the next turn, I'm going to license up this Landorus. Um, right now, he hasn't really played any other cards. Um, or any switching cards besides that one switch. So if he doesn't have another one, we can actually just knock out this Landorus here slowly. Um, we can do some Spiral Drain, healing ourselves. Uh, B and Q. And let's see, what does he send up here? We see Hippopotas come active. I'm not really worried about that card too much. So let's see here. If he has the hit pad on, he's going to knock us out. He can actually just knock us out with a rolling tackle if he has another energy. Um, big question is, what is he going to do here? We see energy go down to Hippopotas. Okay. And we see a... Okay, so he actually... This knocks out with hip up a toss. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna send a victory bell. Like I said, we're gonna Lysander up this Landorus here. So a verse seeker for a Lysander. We'll Lysander up this Landorus. Uh, we'll use a wafting scent, and um, <clears> hmm. <throat> we'll attach a grass energy here, and here we'll spiral drain for sixty and hit it with some poison damage. All right, and we have the Sacred Ash too, so we can Sacred Ash some stuff back into our deck too. Now, once again, the question is, does he have another Switch card? We see an uh, uh, energy going down to the Landers here. Does he a Sycamore here? He has three cards left in his deck. Let's see, what does he have here? Does he have a Switching card? Hopefully, he'll put down the <laughs> the Verbing for us, and that'd be pretty cool there. <laughs> Let's see, does, what else does he have here? Woo, this is a close game. Manetric, Victory Bell, Dragalge, doing some work. Oh, he has a switch, okay. Oh, and a Max Potion! Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna see uh, 120 here, hurting himself. So here, we're gonna Sacred Ash some Pokemon back in the deck. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Well, Verse Seeker, we got to get the Lysander. Uh, we'll Lysander up this Landorus. We'll wifting, Wafting Scent this active one. And here we'll Spiral Drain for 60. Once again, he needs another switching card. He has two cards left in his deck, too. Also, he also has two cards left in his deck, so that's another thing to note, too. He might deck out before us. Oh, an Escape Rope. No. All right, we'll send up Dragalge here. <sighs> okay, how many ends has he played? One, two, three. He's played three ends. 
and hasn't played a single verse seeker yet. Oh, that's scary. How many? We're down all our verse seekers, right? I think all we have left is Pokemon cards. Yeah, we just have Pokemon left in our deck here. Okay. Wait, what's our? Okay, hold on a second. One, two, three, four. One, two. Both Lysanders are gone. Here is the Adverse Seeker for a Lysander. So that's Lysander number one. Here we see Victory Bell getting knocked out. Bye bye, Victory Bell. You're a nice soul. We'll sit up Dragalge here. And all we can really do is here is just, uh, just pass. We don't really have anything else we can do. He has one card left in deck here. Uh, how many Lysanders has he played? Just the, He's played two so far. Uh, one via Seeker. Uh, we were doing so good. I thought we were going to win. Uh, but let's see what happens here. He has one card left in deck. Does he have the another via Seeker or not? Imagine he has to play at least three to four, right? Hmm. So we have, yeah, there's one. You know, there's only one in his discard pile. Um... You could do double edge, knock us out, or resistance desert. Either one knocks us out here. Alright, so here we send a victory bell. And uh we'll just have to end our turn. It comes down to does he have another verse seeker or not? He can win the game actually with just a verse seeker Lysander. But if he doesn't have an in, verse seeker, Shauna, Colrus even, we can win the game right here. Oh, it's so suspenseful. Oh buddy. Oh he's a very good game. I'm so I'm so nervous. Oh he has the verse seeker. No <laughs> uh, Verse Seeker for Lysander. There's a muscle band. And we're gonna see the Minetric get knocked out there. Oh we barely lost by the skin of our teeth. Uh oh well. That was a really good game there. We'll throw it in there. You can see uh how hard it is to beat Hippodon with this deck. But uh you saw we beat right on the turn before, and uh, we'll put one more game in here showing us when. Uh, we'll get one more game in with the winning. But I hope you enjoyed this part, and we'll see another game here in a second. All right, so here we're playing against Wesley Alves, playing a dark deck. Now it's Evatol. We have a really good matchup because he is Evatol is weak to lightning. Uh, I don't see a Garbodor in there. No psychic, any no psychic anything. So as long as we get set up, we should win this game. Uh, heads, we get to go first. Which is really nice here, because uh, Evatol EX can't attack till turn two. Uh, there's a Elsa Hard Charm Pokemon Center Lady. Okay, we start Bell Sprout. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Let's see, what's my point of playing? Is it Evatol or not? I just assumed it was Evatol. Yeah, we will draw a card for the Mulligan. Okay, Zoro's NK and Sharpedo. Okay. So here we'll uh, Ultra Ball discard these two. We will get a Manetric EX. Put that bad boy down. Here we will Manetric or Computer Search discard. Wait, why am I computer searching? Hold on a second. Let's think here. Oh yeah, Computer Search these two. I know what I'm getting now. I'm getting the Link here, just in case he plays Headringer. I'll uh, put the Link down. Switch and Juniper. That's a pretty good uh, opening hand. Now we just need to draw into an Energy. Let's see what we get here. So we're junipering. Just give my internet one second to kick in. It'll come in any day now. Alright, we'll get the energy and uh, we'll just end our turn here. Next turn, we got the Mega Manetric. We could pro try to get a Weeping Bell into play. Uh, we got the Shaman if we need to set up some. So it looks like we're doing good right now. Um, just, you know, just depends what our top deck is. Uh, so we see an energy on the, the Zoro. So we might see an Ascension here. Which uh, can evolve Zora to Zorark. Here we see a Zorosic. No! <laughs> that was the one thing I didn't want him to do was uh, Zorosic my my spirit link away. Uh, so now when we evolve, we have to end our turn. So here we see an Ascension. Getting a Zorark here with the Brutal Bash. Uh, we get a Lightning Energy. Hmm. We'll play the Shaman. And we'll set up for what? One. Alright. We get the Silent Lab down. Yeah, I guess we could Silent Lab and just Mega Evolve and end our turn. That's that's okay. If only we had the Link, we could Link and then play the end. But at least with the Silent Lab, he can't put down a Jirachi. He can't play his own Shaman. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what does NK do? I forget what it does. 
Okay, if it's, if it's confused, I'm not worried about that. Here we see a battle reporter, okay? So you can draw up to four there. And we see another a Absol EX coming down. So it's some kind of dark Absol Sharpedo deck. Robo Sub, Brutal Bash, just 20 times number of. Or 20 times number of dark Pokemon you have in place. Right now it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so our turn here, we get another Manetric down. We can play the N. We get the Weeping Bell. And here I'll just Turbo Bolt for a knockout. Seems pretty strong. Put two Grass Energies on this Weeping Bell. And take a prize card. So next turn, we can Ultra Ball, get a Victory Bell in play. We can start getting another Mega Manetric built up. So it looks like we're in good shape right now. Uh, <clears throat> to see if my opponent has an N or not. Here we see Absol come out. Now Absol has Dark Fang 20. Right, discard a random card from my hand. Dark Edge 100. And any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. We see Ewa's Hawk come down. Ooh, we can actually license that up this turn and knock it out. We see a hard jump going down to the Absol. And we see 20 damage. And heads. Ooh, what card they discard? All oh, the Ultra Ball. Not that big of a deal. Alright. Um, do we just go after this Evatol and knock it out? I think that's a good play there. Um, Ultra Ball, discard the Silent Lab, and the Juniper. Here we'll get a Victory Bell. Where you have Victory Bell. There you go. Victory Bell. Put it down. Life stand up this Evatol here. And uh, we'll just Turbo Bolt for the knockout. Taking two prizes there. Okay. So we got the victory bell out. Um, next turn, we can attach a lightning. Oh, we actually probably just juniper juniper first, and then uh, attach and then uh, Terra Bolt the lightning energy to Manetric. So here we see Absol coming back to the active spot. Here, uh, does he play the Mega Absol? I'm not really sure what it does, but I've seen it. I've seen that Absol. So, uh, and then we see just another Dark Fang. What card is it? Oh, okay. He discards the lightning energy. Uh, we're gonna do that either way. Put down the Manetric. Do we have course in the discard pile? We don't. Uh, we'll just play the, the Juniper. So we get the Skrelp. Uh, we get a Lightning Energy onto the Manetric. Sadly, we missed the Link here. But here we'll use the good old Wafton Scent, Poison and Confuse. And here we'll Turbo Bolt for 90 damage. And we'll put two energies on this other Manetric. Okay. So now the Absol has 70 HP left. He has to flip a coin to even attack this turn now. If Tails, he will hit himself. We'll see what happens. We see energy going down the Absol here. Does he have a switch or anything? And oh, he gets to hit with us. Okay, so he hits us here. But we're going to be able to knock out this Absol this turn. Um, we can just, we don't even have to Mega Evolve here. We can just hit him for 110, or 100 with the Heart Charm. So we'll attach a Grass Energy. Oh, we'll actually just attach a Lightning Energy to this Manetric. And here we're just Coerce. That seems fine. We get the Link. Uh, we got a Mega Evolve here, and yeah, we'll just Turbo Bolt for the knockout and taking two more prizes. Uh, sadly, the uh, Wafting Scent didn't come into play. Put two energies on this Victor Bill, and we'll take two prizes. Okay. So let's see, what does my opponent have here? Uh, his best option is Sin of Sharpedo. We see a Victor Screen from my opponent there. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know round one was a lot more exciting. I made a lot of misplays. We beat Groudon, which should be an auto loss, but Victory Bell actually took uh, did some damage and actually won the game there. And uh, this game, you know, as soon as you set up, you kind of just beat this deck. Uh, it wasn't that serious of a match, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. The deck's really fun to play. Uh, hopefully you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. Give it a like and uh, have a great day. Alrighty, bye.